I'm not going to do anything really fancy here. But um, let's try. Okay, so it's kind of like starting to look like an eye. Um, I'm just gonna clone this and merge it because I'm going to look at how the uh, polar coordinates uh, filter works. Uh, okay, that's nice. Um, I guess I could have stretched it less, right? Um, so. Make it go up again. Um, let's see if I. Yeah, okay. So just for testing, I'll just run that. Um, I think that's not too bad. We'll go with this though. That's a pretty good. start point. Um, there are so many ways you could go about this. Um, and I'm just using an old Photoshop here like CS3. satisfied with that area so uh, I think I'll just use a smudge tool here and smudge it away also I could also like make um, patterns here I guess maybe I should use liquify for that uh, the liquify filter or I could uh, let's just you know this is just me fooling around it, it this is not really going to be fantastic in any way but um I think well let's just try this see see how it works try not to bump the edge here too much that's going because that's gonna wrap around to the other side so So okay, uh, kind of like an you know, eye texture. Um, you could also clone that, and you could wrap that horizontally, so you kind of like get these um, 
opposite directions. Um, I guess you could also even mask that if you want to. Let's see how that works. Kind of works, but you know this is um, yeah, you you kind of like have to find ways. There there are also other ways I thought of, uh, like using for example fiber effects to to make this work better. Uh, but you know this is one way. And it looks more cartoonish, so maybe that's cool. Um, I'll just clone these guys now and merge them and hide the other ones. Um, I'm not sure if I should add any 3D to this. This is where you can use uh, uh, the normal map program uh, Mindtex that I've shown in other videos. And that you could just smack this into the diffuse and it will make a normal and, and bump and displacement map for you. Uh, I'm not going to do that now though. Um, there, There is actually also a normal map plugin for uh, Photoshop. Oh, actually, I have it installed. What do you know? Um, maybe I could just run that then. So I'll just make the texture like that and let's see how this works. NVIDIA has this damn simple normal map generator uh, and it works. Uh, maybe I should do. Ah, I always forget this. Okay, not that bad, but um, now let's see, I'll use, let's do something like this instead. Run the filter over again. Yeah. Maybe I need to um, curve that out. Oh, that's the wrong way. I want less black here. I should have done this another way, but um, maybe we could do something like that. Oh, come on. Uh, it's embarrassing when you forget how you how you went about this, but uh, anyway.
to do it kind of the right way. Um, okay, so merge these down and Shift L and Control Shift U to get rid of the colors, and let's run that normal map filter over again. Oh, that was heavy. Why was that? Oh, I think. No, actually, I'm not. I have no idea why. Um. That is strange. Okay, I guess I need. I had to flatten it for some reason. I don't know why. But okay, that that's the normal map then, and I guess that is somewhat okay. Um, it's kind of like low res, honestly. I think I'm going to make that higher resolution. Just making that that's fake resolution, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just interpolate it. Um, yeah, so we got the normal map. Oh, what did I forget? Of course, I forgot to run uh, polar coordinates. Here we go. I could do the, this and that one as well. Um, yeah. You might want to feather this. Uh, let's feather that with eight. And when that is done, you can't really see it, but there's a feather going on here. So uh, blur, Gaussian blur, nope, invert the selection. Blur, Gaussian blur. We'll just smooth that edge out just slightly. Uh, I think I yeah, I just want to. slightly less. Oh well, let's say that that's perfect. We'll just pretend that that is perfect and uh, go with that, I guess. 